There are several ways to recover our device. There is a method by PC and a method without a PC. In this video tutorial we are going to use what is a totally different method. We are not going to use the PC to be able to solve and recover this device. We are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network and we are going to show you that our phone still has that screen lock and still has the half forgotten account. How are we going to be able to recover our device? We are going to recover it in an easier and very simpler way. We are going to touch the screen several times, we go back, we touch the screen. Several times, we go back. We click here where it says add new network, add new network, we click the QR code. We select on the little screen here of the gallery. Then the three dots we select any of the options here. We click here in permissions, we click in storage permissions. See all applications, here we are going to write Chrome. We are going to write Chrome, we select Google Chrome. We click open here, ready, now what are we going to do? Now we are going to click here where it says no thanks and here we are going to write the next one. We are going to write our official page. We are going to write David Cell as it appears on the screen. Look at it carefully and the Android DTV option will appear. Then you are going to select that option and then we click here. We are going to click here, we are going. To give the next option, we are going to give it the three dots, help and comment. We select the magnifying glass here and we are going to write here apps or delete. We select this first option that appears here that says delete or disable apps, we are going to select that option. Then we select the first option. Here we click on the blue letters that says number one. And then we are going to disable these Google Play services. We disable the Google Play services. After we disable those Google Play services we are going to open the browser and now we are going to select the page that we had first. Now we are going to select the entry that says Apps Android DTV Davy Cell. Either of the two options, we are going to select it. We are going to go down, here is Apps Davidel, we are going to select it. After we have selected it completely. Now it will take us directly to these options. We are going to select the next option that appears here. We are going to go down, we are going to go down, we are going to go down. Here we are going to see ah uh, here we are going to see this option which is a launcher. We are going to click on that launcher, it would take us to what is the Galaxy Store. Being here in the Galaxy Store then, what we are going to do now is download this application. We go to the magnifying glass, this this is only to be able to enter. We are going to write here Activity Manager which is the application that we are going to install. We click on it, we click play here, now we have to have a Samsung account. If you don't have one I recommend creating a new one, you are going to click on it. Now you are going to open the application. After you open that application you are going to write here in the magnifying glass. You are going to write W is, you are going to select Android settings. Then you are going to select the option that says predeference to wizard. Ready and now the screen would be flashing. Now what we are going to do is restart our phone. When we completely restart our phone it will take us directly to the beginning and if it appears here that it still asks you for the Google account to access, you are going to press volume down and power at the same time when the screen restarts release the volume down button holding the volume up button and you are going to let it restart once when it restarts for the second time. You are going to release the power button holding the volume up button so you will be able to recover your device. We are going to wait to enter recovery mode, when we enter recovery mode. We are going to wait to enter recovery mode. When we enter recovery mode then we are going to do the following. We are going to do the recovery, we are going to go down where it says wipe data. 
Now it says factory data reset, now we are going to select the first option. This is for our device to restart. Now what we are going to do is wait for our phone to restart completely. When it completely restarts we will be able to configure our device. But this apparently seems like it is still totally blocked. But that is not the case yet, let's wait, we will click. Let's wait, we will connect to a Wi-Fi network. Here it will show us and it will give us the option to skip, it will tell us not to copy. When this option not to copy appears we will click here on skip. Good we will click here on skip Google account and hear our device well. The option to skip not to copy appears here after I was wrong well then. We will click here do not copy and here we will be able to configure it now here are Phone as it was reset there is no need to reset it again here. Our phone would be left with a totally new device free of any errors only ready to be able to recover it and add a new account and a new screen lock. If our video works for you, subscribe, activate the bell, like it, share it and leave a good comment.